वन मिनट दो बट इट्स एन एक्सलूट ऑनर टू कॉल अपन स्टेज वन ऑफ this story with an idea about maybe 4 or 5 years ago and uh, our good friend and collaborator of many uh, projects and all sorts of things somil and i sort of um, thought we should write a screenplay and you know try and attempt a film on on the subject it was um, it was a bit of a statement we wanted to make it was highly political it was highly uh, well in you know sensitive i guess at, uh, at some level and um, we started writing it as um, a film we we got pretty far and then 2014 happened and uh, the government changed and the country changed and somehow we just knew that this film is not going to get made anytime soon um so the only thing so we kind of abandoned that uh, project at that point uh, but was, i i felt you know in the publishing world we can still get away with a lot because uh, unfortunately or fortunately we don't have too many readers who have too many opinions all the time like the way they have on film and cinema so i thought let let me just go sort of under the radar and still get those ideas out in as clear a manner as possible and um, so that's why i took some inspiration to uh, write a book on it and he let me have it and i did and we had a day so that was great was there any event that has inspired or triggered your curiosity a particular event that, that comes to you i think every day there are events in kashmir and i think we are all part of it we are all in it kashmir is our problem people don't you know it's very easy to sit away from uh, uh, our country's issues and and then speculate but i i think it's very immediate it's right it's something that's very palpable so there's no one event but the more you get into it the more you read about it and what's happening and try and try and see the different points of view uh i i think anyone with a, any kind of creative streak has something to say about it um i know farhan did i just want to talk to you about we made a film called the production which was uh, on a similar theme also about the protagonist coming of age and uh, so what is it about this issue that you feel you want to put on a film um film at the age of 30 right yeah uh firstly my apologies for being a little bit late i got stuck in traffic getting here and while i was arriving here i was going to tell karan that his next thriller should be about a man who needs to go across mumbai at rush hour time he has only 2 hours to defuse a bomb save his family do something really really important will he make it I think is a I think you know the answer to the question no 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 it's a five page book <laughs> um well uh, you know as far as luck is concerned um it's uh, something that really as an idea was uh, conceptualized in in uh, the mind of my father um he had been to uh, kargil in the year 2001 i think uh, for kargil divas um and where you lay a wreath Uh, at the memorial that's made there for the fallen soldiers and while he was there there was a um, an officer that he met who uh, spoke to him at length and told him you know that there is so much praise for the indian army at this point and people are saying that really we are like the at the pinnacle of courage the examples for um, what uh, of nationalism of pride in our country of sacrifice for our country but it's really unfortunate that with all this praise that's coming our way every single year the number of officers enrolling into the army seem to be becoming less and less so it's just people are just saying it but nobody is really following up you know it and that's when he decided he wanted to write a film that would inspire people to join the army and that's how luck started 
Um, of course, making it was uh, an eye opener for me uh, because there's nobody really from my immediate family <coughs> who has any kind of army background. So I had to learn a lot about it. And when you learn, I mean, you realize most importantly um, the serious amount of pride that those people have, you know, in uh, in their country, in their people, in uh, their national identity. And it doesn't matter where you send them. You know, you could send them to Kashmir, you could send them to different parts of India, you could send them for emergencies, for <coughs> relief work, and they're always there, no questions asked, you know, to, to really serve uh, to serve us, you know, so that so that we have, have more comfortable, easier lives. Um, and that was my biggest learning, really, from it. So it's very different from, from the book, you know, I mean, it's, it's a very different experience. But uh, it was truly a lot of learning for me. Uh, about about that region and of course about about the army. So as a writer, you are both uh, prolific writers now. And uh, so, how does your process go about? You know, when you have to write a book, uh, you know, writing a film is a lot of people get involved. There's a, a collaboration that happens. But in a book, it's just you alone, kind of just going down with it. So. Please tell us a little about that. Yeah, I mean, I I really enjoy writing. That's all, that's my favorite process of filmmaking, also um, amongst so many things that happen in film. Uh, and and one of the most fun things about writing and collaborative writing, especially like in a writer's room sort of setup, is he, it's a lot of physical workout because you end up beating the other guys up for like that one line or that one idea. And there's all you're always wrestling and you are walking out and throwing things and throwing tantrums, so uh, that that's really fun and it's it's for the best. I mean, you just get the best of the ideas sort of uh, filtering through, right? Uh